All right, as we all know, Georgia farmers depend heavily on good crop rotation plans to keep their farms thriving. Usually, producers rotate the same crops year after year. However, there may be a new crop to consider. Sesame seeds, they're now being grown in Georgia commercially, and they may be coming to a farm near you. The Monitor's Mark Wildman explains. In Lawrence County, Rodney Martin is unloading his just harvested crop at the local buying point. But this crop is not your typical Georgia crop. It's sesame seed and it's starting to be planted on farms around the state. The crop is only in its second year on farms in Georgia, but has performed well under some very adverse conditions. I felt like compared to other crops, my, my sesame grew in what I would consider extreme drought and I had soybeans next to it that I didn't harvest at all. Sesame is not a new crop to Georgia. It was grown here decades ago, mostly to attract doves to an area. But now, thanks to advancements in seed development, the crop can be machine harvested and planted on farms to be sold on the market. Jimmy Brewer of Southland Seed Company believes there is a future in Georgia for this crop. In southwest Georgia, we used to grow peanuts, corn, cotton, and then we'd try and have a grass crop for a rotation. I think sesame will help us quite a bit for a rotational crop uh, on, on a uh, basis of having rotation uh, for your fields. Mainly to help you get rid of your nematodes. This year the Georgia crop is coming in at a very high quality and the grain bins are getting full. We've already brought in more sesame already than we had totally last year. The company that owns the sesame seed is Sesico. And right now, if a grower wants to plant the crop, they do so under contract with Sesico through its sister company, Agrex. Chris Bacon handles sesame for Agrex. We will line up contracts as far as contacting growers, or some growers will call us and ask about sesame. Um, and we will send them a marketing agreement. It's similar to peanuts. You sign up a certain amount of acres, not necessarily a certain amount of production. And, um, you know, you lock in your price right then and there per pound, um, or the contract states per 100 pounds. One of the many obstacles in getting a new crop established is teaching producers the benefits of the crop. Ben Ingram is a farmer and consultant assisting farmers with growing sesame. He believes the crop has a place in the entire southeast. It is a good double crop. It is a very good dry land crop. Uh, since it is um, very resistant to drought and heat, actually it performs better in both of those applications where you may not have that in other crops. Um, it, like I said, is a good option where you may plant late soybeans or something behind your wheat, and if it turns off dry, you usually don't produce a crop. But with the sesame, if you go in and get it planted behind the wheat, then you have the potential of making a decent profit off of that crop because of its low inputs. As the seasons go by, producers will learn the do's and don'ts of this crop. But one lesson they have learned early is hogs and deer do not have a taste for it. This uh, sesame that I did grow this year, I didn't see any deer damage. And I know there's pressure from deer on that farm as well. And it didn't seem, they didn't seem to bother it at all. If the crop can be a proven success in Georgia, you may very well find the sesame you eat on your hamburger bun is not from overseas but grown right here in Georgia. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Mark Wildman.